Remedies Alternative Medicine Although diet and exercise are the best tactics to lower your blood pressure, some supplements also may help decrease it. These include Alpha-linolenic acid Plant Psyllium Calcium Cocoa Cod liver oil Coenzyme Q10 Omega-3 fatty acids Garlic While it's best to include these supplements in your diet as you can also take supplement pills or capsules. Talk to your doctor before adding any of these supplements to your blood pressure treatment. Some supplements can interact with medication causing harmful side effects, increased bleeding risk that could be fatal. You can also practice relaxation techniques such as yoga or deep breathing to help you relax and reduce your stress level. These practices can temporarily reduce your blood pressure. How does nutrition affect blood pressure? Certain foods can increase blood pressure. Gaining weight can increase blood pressure. Losing weight can reduce blood pressure. What should I eat to control high blood pressure? Eat foods lower in fat, salt and calories. Use spices and herbs instead of salt to flavor food. Use less oil, butter, margarine, shortening and salad dressing. What are some of the foods I should eat? Skim or one person milk, lean meat, skinless turkey and chicken, low salt, ready to eat cereals, cooked hot cereals, low fat and low salt cheeses, fruits, fresh, frozen or canned with added salt, vegetables, breads, English muffins, bagels, rolls and tortillas. Prepared convenience food. What foods should I eat less of? Butter and margarine, regular salad dressings, fatty meats, whole milk dairy products, fried food, salted snacks, canned soups, fast foods, deli meats. What's the difference between sodium and salt? Salt is mostly sodium, a mineral that occurs naturally in foods. Sodium is the substance that may cause your blood pressure to increase. Other forms of sodium are also present in food. Monosodium glutamate is another example of a sodium added to the food common in Chinese food. How does salt increase blood pressure? When you eat too much salt, which contains sodium, your body holds extra water to wash the salt from your body. In some people, this may cause blood pressure to rise. The added water puts stress on your heart and blood vessels. What foods are high in sodium? Processed foods such as lunch meats, sausage, bacon and ham. Canned soup, boilion, dried soup mixes, daily meats, condiments, cast up, soya sauce, salad dressings, frozen and boxed mixes for potatoes, rice and pasta, snack food, pretzels, popcorn, peanuts, chips. 
pickled or marinated food. What else should I do to change my diet? Avoid alcohol. Eat a variety of foods. Eat foods high in dietary fiber, whole grain breads, cereals, pasta, fresh fruit and vegetables. Comparison of sodium in foods. Meats, poultry, fish and shellfish. Fresh meat, 3 oz, cooked, less than 90 mg of sodium. Shellfish, 3 oz, 100 to 325 mg of sodium. Tuna, canned, 3 oz, 300 mg of sodium. Lean ham, 3 oz, 1025 mg of sodium. Dairy product, whole milk. 1 cup, 120 mg of sodium. Kim or 1% milk, 1 cup, 125 mg of sodium. Buttermilk, salt added, 1 cup, 260 mg of sodium. Swiss cheese, 1 ounce, 75 mg of sodium. Cheddar cheese, 1 ounce, 175 mg of, of sodium. Low-fat cheese, 1 ounce, 150 mg of sodium. Cottage cheese, half cup, 445 mg of sodium. Vegetables Fresh or frozen vegetables and no salt added canned, cooked without salt, half cup, less than 70 mg of sodium. Vegetables canned or frozen, Without sauce, half cup, 55 to 470 milligrams of sodium. Tomato juice, canned, 3 by 4 cup, 660 milligrams of sodium. Breads, cereals, rice and pasta. Bread, 1 slice, 110 to 175 milligrams of sodium. English muffin, half. 130 mg of sodium. Ready to eat. Shredded wheat. 3 by 4 cup. Less than 5 mg of sodium. Cooked cereal. Half cup. Less than 5 mg of sodium. Instant cooked cereal. 1 packet. 180 mg of sodium. Canned soup. 1 cup. 600 to 1300 mg of sodium.